匕首可是涂满了剧毒。First, let's start with the dagger template. I trace this onto 70 degree 4mm EVA foam and then cut two pieces out with a sharp razor knife. After that, I use contact adhesive and brush both sides of the foam. Wait for it to dry, then join them together. Next, I remove this part on the template and then mark on the foam. After that, I proceed to do the guard. I use 1cm foam and 3mm foam for this part. And the reason is just simply it is easier for me to know where to stop sanding afterward. Then I also use contact adhesive to join them. I slot the 3mm foam to the dagger first then follow up by 1cm foam. This will ensure a more accurate fusion for this part. Next, I sharpen the dagger by sanding it with a rotary tool. I first use 80 grit sanding drum to remove most of the material, and then 400 grit to smoothen the surface. After that, it will be smoother than my life. Next, cut this shit, I mean this piece out of the dagger template, trace two pieces onto a 4mm foam, and then cut them out. After that, slot in the guard, put the pieces onto the handle and mark the position. Next, we'll be sanding the guard down with a rotary tool. The guard has a slightly concave shape, so it will be a little bit tricky to sand, but do it slowly, we'll surely get it there. After sanding with rotary tool, I also use sandpaper to smooth the knees manually, and now we have a nice smooth guard. Now let's proceed to the small detail on the blade. I printed out a bigger reference on the paper, and then start drawing the noodles onto the blade. I did not follow it completely, because I have no idea what a noodle means. After that, I used rotary tool and cup it with a carving bit. I also set the speed slightly slower so it would be easier to control. After carving all the noodles onto the blade, next is to attach the guard onto the dagger and glue it with super glue. After that, bring back this domino and make slight slant the cut at two of the long end. This will make sure the handle has a better and comfortable grip. And then stick them onto the handle with contact adhesive. Last but not least, I use 3mm foam for this. This is for the tip of the handle. It will be just simply stick onto it with super glue. And that's it. After that, I drill a hole at the handle before moving to the painting. I first paint it with water-based paint as primer, and you can use white glue as a replacement. After priming a few layers, it shall be able to seal all the pores and ready to be painted. I first paint it with silver and then leave it aside to dry. While waiting for the paints to dry like me, I proceed to make the dagger holder with 3mm foam. I glue very little at the edge and turn it into something like this. After that, I cut few half-inch straps, and this will be used for the belts on the holder. I measure and trim down the strap, round it into a ring, and trim down the other one for the bottom belt. Lastly, I also trim the strap for keeping the dagger in place. After that, I glue all the belt in place and heat it with heat gun. The heat will soften the foam and will be able to reshape after it is cold. When it is cold, attach the last belt to here. Heat it with heat gun so the shape can maintain. Next, I prime it and paint it with brown as the best color. Then I use a huge edge needle and hand saw thicker thread to give the seam a bit more details. I start from the bottom and then go all the way up. And then I sew backward to fill out all the gaps. So it will look nicer this way. Reaching the end, I just simply tie a knot and put a little bit of glue at the knot. Then trim away the excess thread. Now it looks much better. Next, I water down different tone and brown acrylic paint and brush onto the dagger holder. This will give the whole thing a little bit texture when it dries. I also use kitchen towel to wipe off excess if I think it is too much. Lastly, I also add a little bit darker shades to make the belt pull out a little more. After messing with the paint, I add this belt rivet onto the belt. To do this, first remove this long tube with a plier by twisting it back and forth. Then push this onto the belt to mark the position. After that, put a little bit of glue to glue it onto it. Next, I attach the snap button onto the top belt, so it can be snapped on easily. Now the dagger holder is done, let's move back to the dagger. Using a masking tape, slowly mask off the silver part. And then paint the remaining part with matte black color. Next, I use double-sided tape, tape both sides of the handle side, and then use a purple bias tape and wrap onto the handle. The wrapping method can be found on the internet easily, so I will not go into details. For the end and the tip, I just simply trim off the excess and super glue it. Now let's move on to the accessory. I use a tin yarn and braid it because I couldn't find a similar one. And again, I will not go into details because Google will tell you how to do it. At the end, I once again super glue it and trim off the excess. Next, I cheated a little bit, got this old Chinese coin and locked the store, and then tie it on with the yarn. Then I super glue both ends on the yarn into the handle. Lastly, I make this charm out of EVA foam and attach it onto the coin. And it is done.